grown up being a Paralympian and for years I've been telling stories about so many of the incredible athletes, um, but to see exactly what I feel on Netflix of all things, I, I don't have a word. I felt very emotional seeing some of my home footage because I had never seen some of that footage before and it brought back a lot of emotion, particularly around when I had cancer and around how proud I was to swim for my family. I remember when I turned the documentary off, I just sat in silence and thought about how many of the athletes and how many of their stories that I, I haven't even heard. Um, and I know it's in the thousands. And so I was so inspired and I know I will be inspired by, by so many more of the athletes in the future. It made me really proud of our Paralympic history and that we as athletes have been built on a foundation of so many other athletes that have been told time and time again that they were never going to be athletes and they just didn't listen. <laughs> I'm proud that we as Paralympians can provide so much inspiration and motivation to the world and that we are changing what it means to be different. So like, why wouldn't you be proud of that? So one of the things that I love about Rising Phoenix is that it is such a multi-dimensional film. Um, it not only features the stories of the nine athletes, but it creates a uh, discussion around things such as disability and inclusion and equality. And this comes in a time where we all just want our stories heard. Regardless of our background, this story is about overcoming the odds and releasing all of that limitless human potential that we all have. And even more importantly, to celebrate the triumphs and a lot of the triumphs that have happened through tragedy. This is what the Paralympics is all about and Rising Phoenix has captured that perfectly.